Right then, gentlemen, how are you all doing? So it is currently September 23. We are a good week and a half away from the potential Halloween update. All very good, all very good. And well, I just wanted to point out something. Something strategic I've done, and I've done a very good buy order. That's for TF2 Cosmetics. That's definitely in relation to Halloween. I'll give you a nice explanation, don't worry. So, um, I've completely maxed out this account. Uh, £1,700 is the absolute maximum that you can have for uh, British people. And uh, I've got £16,999 worth of buy orders. Again, 10 times. And then you've got 10 times your current <laughs> um, Steam uh, current Steam wallet. So yeah, you get the idea. It's an exhausted account. I've completely max, uh, maxed it out. I can no longer do buy orders on it. So let's just go take you over to here. And... Uh, very, very conveniently, I can now buy a Steam Deck. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that wonderful? So, yes, that's nice. But what, what, what's this thing I wanted to talk about? So if I just scroll down, you might notice that I did some buy orders to finish it off from Tough Break Case. The Gift Bringer, Strange Gift Bringer, and the Strange Patriot Peak. And I'm offering much cheaper prices than what they are currently. So what gives? What are you trying to tell us? What are you trying to say? So, first of all, let's just do a quick brief bit of history. Do you know that the Tough Break case was actually a... Uh, it was actually a Christmas case. It actually came out in December. Let's just quickly prove that. So the Tough Break case came out during... Oh, don't do this to me now. <laughs> the December... T the Sorry. December 17, 2015 patch. It's actually a very old case, blimey. I didn't realise it was that old. Almost seven years. But yeah, all of its contents are actually winter-themed and Christmas-themed. Uh, aside from the Patriot Peak. But anyway. So this was a Christmas and winter-themed case. And of course, everything in inside it is actually uh, Christmas-themed. But everybody opens this case during Halloween. What's going to happen? Well, tons more of those are going to be appearing on the market. Makes sense. So now, here's when we start looking at them. So, the gift bringer. Why would I want to buy all of this? Well, think. What happens after Halloween? Well, there's November, but then there's December. Then Christmas. What do you reckon happens to this cosmetic during Christmas? Think like the bee mock. It goes up in price. There's suddenly a demand to dress up as Santa. And shoot everybody with a rocket launcher. TF2! <laughs> so, um, I've done a buy order around 90 cents to a dollar. But why did I choose that price? Well, I learned from last year. Do you see this big drop and then rise into December? So this is last year. And last year, what happened? We got the God Tier Effect, Pumpkin Moon. Everybody wanted to open the Tough Break case to try and get Pumpkin Moon uh, Patriot Peaks, didn't they? So with that happening, tons and tons and tons of cosmetics from the case are being opened and thrown onto the market. People are going to sell them to the highest buy order and it's gradually going to go down in price. So uh, Gift Bringer, even though right now it's currently selling for to the equivalent of around $1.40 with buy orders going up to about $1.12. Last year... It was selling for as cheap as around 95 cents to a dollar. It got very cheap. And what do you reckon is going to happen this year if we get very good effects again? The exact same thing. It's a pattern. It's happened many times in the past. But last year was significant based on the fact that we had very good effects. That period of time where everybody was opening those tough break cases happened for a lot longer. If you look in the previous year where we didn't have that many good effects, it didn't last as long. It went down for a bit, and then it recovered fairly quickly, because people did not care for the 2020 uh, Halloween update. Which was, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's something you do have to be prepared for. But with the price I've put down, I'm happy. And just to, just to go with the point, what do we see happen the very second it starts getting close to uh, December? It rises back up in price. So think like this. I have... An exhausted account, it can no longer do buy orders. The very last buy orders that I did, the very last buy orders that I did was uh, obviously 
the TF2 ones that I just showed you. Sorry, my brain just went blank. Uh, the Tough Break Cosmetics. And I'm very likely going to be buying a whole bunch of these in about a month's time. And then once they're tradable, I can just throw them onto another account that needs money. Makes sense? And as you know, I just showed you, I've got a lot of accounts. So whilst this account no longer can put any more money on it, whilst this account can no longer do any buy orders on it, I can always take what it buys. Ow, sorry, didn't mean to hit the mic, sorry about that. I can just take away what I've bought and put it elsewhere and sell it elsewhere. And yeah, that's not, I can still, I can take the profits from that and, and then just work from there on a different account that really needs some money. Whether it's this account or this account or this account, makes sense? So that's being strategic with what you have available to you. So gift bringer, as we can see, it goes down in price when everybody wants to open the case and it goes back up in price when it hits December because everybody actually wants to use the cosmetic. So then we've got the strange gift bringer, same pattern. And let me point out to you, hardly any people's doing a buy order on this. It, it, there's this guy at 22, there's this guy at 10. And um, I was fairly uncontested at this region. So the price I'm going for is about $2.80. Yeah. Now my currency keeps getting weaker. It's a, it's a bit unfortunate, but that's just the way things are. And yeah, right now, all of these are selling for around $4 a piece. Looking very nice. But last year, what happened? Well... This has a lot more sales, so it might be a bit tricky to get the right point. But here we go, right there. Yep. So if I be a bit more refined. So just before Halloween, last year, this was selling for around $5. Goes down because it's being opened a ton. And it drops down to around $3. So I got a $2.80 buy order. This went down to around uh, $3 last year. And then it started to pick back up towards the end of October. And then as we hit December, it peaked quite a bit. Now, it did kind of slope down a bit. But it, th at this point here, it's still a better price than what it was down here. So, again, you can just move it onto a different account and sell the contents elsewhere. Sound good? Sound fine? And then lastly... Uh, oh. <laughs> lastly, we have the Patriot Peak. Now, you can do... A regular Patriot Peak, I have considered it, but it didn't look like it made that much money. But the strange one does. So this is a blue hat. You're going to be getting a lot of these. Well, you're going to be getting them a lot more than purples and pinks. And Well, you get the idea. So if we look at last year, the exact same situation. But this isn't a Christmas themed hat, is it? But people do like it. It's got a nice style to it. It's basically a budget team captain. Oh, sorry, zoomed in too much. But can you see, just before, it, this was selling for around $3.50. Then it goes all the way down to about $1.40, $1.50. And then as we start to hit around January, February time, it gets back up to around here again. It gets back up to about $3. So, with just a bit of patience, understanding the patterns, learning the strategy... You can do this as well. You just need a lot of money and you need to accept that you are going to be buying quite a lot of stuff. You need a lot of TF2 inventory space. I need to keep an eye on that. I actually need to check up on this account. But uh, I'm not going to be buying any now until it hits October. And if we do see God tier effects, all the better for me. Sounds good. So uh, I hope you're still keeping an eye on the workshop. I hope you're still keeping an eye on what effects we might get. So let's just do a real quick look, just a quick minute check, just to see how things are looking. I don't know when the... <laughs> well, um, maybe. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, we have been seeing some more interesting designs. So I've seen some horns, seen like a flower horn effect. I did, I did see a bat. I did see a bat effect. I, it seems to have been moved. But look at this huge moon. Murky moon. Look at the size of this. Huge. Huge. And that would be a god tier effect. Uh, is it extra interesting looking? It doesn't matter. It's huge. <laughs> That's mostly what gets away with uh, being much more in demand. But that looks cool as well. I reckon we'll see something similar in the style of the Devil Horns last year. The Devil Fawns is what it was, it was called. So maybe that. Is it Halloween-y? Maybe. Does it move when you move? It does look like it does. So that's interesting. And then, yeah, we got that. That, 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 
that probably would be accepted maybe a whole lot better. Uh, is that ram horns? Yeah, we're getting a lot of like things like this. But where's the bat wings? The bat wings were the most interesting one to me. In terms of trying to bring in something new, am I not looking at most recent? I am. Where's the bat wings? Why didn't I have this prepared? Right, well, someone made bat wings and it looked really cool and I can't seem to find it. My apologies about that. But uh, you've got to keep an eye on what's potentially coming out and you've got to be prepared that if it's going to be a god tier effect in the new case and uh, yeah and then everybody starts chasing it so gentlemen best of luck um i hope you've seen my 53 minute video talking about doing builders give that a watch if you want but um we are like a, a 10 we're about 10 days away so get your money up keep in check for how much builder amount you have and you know have at it so best of luck to everybody and i hope you enjoy yourself